today. It's because of you that we live, we move, and we have our being. Hallelujah. You get the glory in this house today. You get the glory. Get us out of your way today. Have your way. Have your way. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody say it is so. Everything that I've decreed and declared, it is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that I've spoken today in this atmosphere, it is so. Hallelujah. This house shall be called a house of prayer. Hallelujah. It shall be called a house of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord today by being here. God is good. God is faithful. God is consistent. Hallelujah. He's all powerful. I will see all good God. Hallelujah. And for that alone, I give him praise. For that alone, I give him praise. Hallelujah. He's the way. He's the truth. And he's the light. He's the door. He's the answer. He's the bomb in Gilead. He's the lion of Judah. He's the king of kings. He's my peace. He's my joy. I am that I am. God is. My everything. Hallelujah. He's my hope for tomorrow. He's my joy in sorrow. God is. And I'm telling you, hallelujah, you want to act like he is. And not that he was. Hallelujah. He's a very present help in your times of trouble. Hallelujah. He's a very present help. I don't care what you're going through, what you're dealing with. God is. Hallelujah. Right now, right now, right now. He is. Hallelujah. Everything that I have need of. Hallelujah. Your praise ought to match what you believe today.
Bishop said it two Sundays, I think, in a row. You got some folks, you just got to cut. Yeah. 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 I told my girlfriend the other day, I said, some folks, you doing them the lifeline, yes. but they trying to pull you in with them. The devil is alive. I love you, but I got to cut you. Yeah. Because I would not be destroyed with you. Yeah. And I mean that. Yeah. There is no rule for compromise.
Listen, look at your neighbor and say, you are right, you are right. Come on. Listen, listen, listen. Don't make it hard for your neighbor. Come on now. Hallelujah. I'm serious. Because whatever you're going through, it makes it hard for the next one, okay? It does. When you won't push past it. I don't know about you, but I didn't come here for naught. We all could have stayed in the bed for that reason. And we were not going to put anything in. Amen? Just to stay here. Look, it may not be your song. It may not be your jail. But you want to think on the goodness of Jesus. And all that he's done for you. This thing is so personal. Hallelujah. You don't know you weren't there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, listen, no, we're not, we're not just coming in here just to be coming. We're not. But I came to receive from the Lord today. I did. I came to receive from the Lord today. And if you don't make any deposits, you cannot make any withdrawals. But see, this is the thing. I've already made deposits before I got here. I don't wait until I get to the house to make deposits. That's why you ought to always be able to pull from the well that will never run dry. Yes, God. Yes, God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There is no slack in him. None. None. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I don't want to be a stumbling block to nobody else. And if that's you, but they hear the spirit this morning, there you go. Let it go. Let it go. I know, I know the doctor said this and that. I know, I know, I know. But what did the great physician say? What did he say? I know, I know, I know. You may have gotten a no. You may have gotten rejected. I, what, it, but what did God say? Ooh, what did he say? He said, I am the head. I am above. I am healed. And not sick. I am rich. And not poor. I am blessed going in. And I'm blessed. Come on. Come on. What did he say? The promises of God are yes. And amen, it's settled. It's, settled. it's done. It Hallelujah. Change of countenance. You look sad. You look like you ain't got no more. You want to put a smile on your face and play. Hallelujah. Yeah. Do it anyway. I'm going to smile through. I'm going to praise my way through.
sad, the happy times, the sad times, the frustrated times. Hallelujah. Times when you don't understand why it's working, it's working. It's working all together. God is taking all of that and thinking what for me.
you want to act like you need it. You want to call his name Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Don't pass me by. the world. 
worship.
such a sweet spirit in it. Because you told us in your word not to be hearers only, but also doers in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that we are sanctified. Hallelujah. We will no longer be the same. Those that came in frustrated, those that came in aggravated, those that came in with a bow down head, they will not leave out the same way they came. But Father, I decree and declare right now, God, that your blood right now is cleansing them. Hallelujah. What can make me clean again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you. Have your way in us, with us, and through us. It's in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Lord, for being here now, like I said, to, to just be here is an honor. Yes, 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 yes it does. Yes, I'm going to say this and we're going to move. I was, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little different. I do things probably the different than normal people. But I, I look at certain things and it, it brings me to certain places. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, it was lowering, I, I seen a clip of uh, the film services of Gordon Pearson. Uh -huh. And then I showed another clip of him, they were burying him. Yeah. And it just made me think, even when he was lowering him into the ground and all that stuff, it was just making me think, after all what you've done, yeah. that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. That's, that's nothing else, you're just gonna be a part of the earth. Yeah. After that, yeah. from a physical standpoint of view, everything that you've done, said, it's not going to do anything anymore in this earth realm. You're yeah. not going to be able to talk to nobody or anything right. again. Right. I said, what you do for Christ we'll is going to last. Only, yeah. Only, yeah. only what you do for Christ yeah. is going to yeah. last. Right. And I got to tell you, we can mope by so many things that's going on in our life, but we still live and we still get another opportunity yeah. to bless God. When yeah. we come to the house of God, this ain't, like I said, it ain't something to do. It ain't just, you know, just, you know, I'm showed up, God, so you're going to have to do all the work now. No, it ain't nothing about that. You got to give God all you can while you can. Because I'm telling you, and I can guarantee you this, night is on the way. You are closing, you are, all of us are approaching Every day, every moment, we're getting yeah. one step closer to the end yeah. Absolutely. Yes, 
of our process. Yeah. And we've got to take advantage of it. Yeah. I'd like to thank God for the praise and worship team this yes. morning. Yes. Thank God. Yes. chapter 5, starting in verse number 20 in the King James Version. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 5, 20 in the King James. It says, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. What? Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not kill, and whosoever kills shall be in danger of the judgment. Well. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, Come on. and there rememberest that thou brother hath part against thee, Man. leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, yeah. while thou art in the way with him. Lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, come on. and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. All right, read 23 and 24 again for me, please. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, yeah. and there remember that, they, that thy brother hath an altar against thee, leave there thy gift at the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Okay, I want to talk about today as you uh, take your seat, I want to talk about the unaccepted gift. All right, now. The unaccepted gift. The unaccepted gift. I want to talk about the unaccepted gift. He says in verse number 23, he said, If thou say, therefore, if thou be uh, bring a gift to the altar and remember that that brother has an all against thee. Oh, Jesus. Say, leave the gift. Yes, Go that way, be reconciled, and then come off of the gift. Yeah. Mm. And I want to talk about the unaccepted gift today. Right. Because we really need to examine ourselves. Is God really accepting what we are offering? I want to talk about the day. That's really good. Is he? Is he really accepting the gift? Right. How many people in here got children? Well, that's the whole church ain't. <laughs> wow. How many people, it's Christmas time, right? It's time, time for Christmas. When you get ready to go out and, and, and sacrifice to buy those presents. How many people go out with anticipation to buy them something they, that they don't want? Right. No. No. That they don't want. Right. But why do we buy the gifts and, and why do we go so hard about buying them? Because a lot of us, if you tell the truth about it, we want the reaction. Yeah. Yes. We want to know that we please them yeah. by what we sacrifice. Yeah. So why are we offering God something that he don't even want? Come on. 
And I think about a lot of times, I was, you know, how many times have somebody presented you something? I'm just saying, present, presented it to you. And you said, no, I can't take that. How many times have you turned it down? Because one of the biggest critical, one of the critical things about giving a gift, first of all, you want to present it in a way that they want to take it. So we put a lot of emphasis on presentation. I know my wife, she's big on that. I'm serious. You know, how, how well it's wrapped. You know, and that's what we do a lot of time. We put on. I want you to hear yourself. Yeah. A lot of times we put on yes. to look yeah. presentable. Yeah. But it ain't really, God, it's not really what, the way you look on the outside. On. It's what's on the inside yes. that he's looking for. And he said that if you have an all, go get it right yeah. and then come back and then offer the gift unto me. It's not the outside. And that's what God said. He said in the book of Samuel, right? He said, I don't look on the outer man. He said, I always look on the heart. So just let's go back to the normal for a minute. Let's go back into the, just the physical man. I'm just saying, you out there, some of us working two, three jobs. Job trying to make sure that our children and, and everybody that we love so much get what they desire. Yeah. For when it's time to present it and all that hard work you did, they say, I don't want it. How would that make you feel? Come on. Come on. How would that make you feel that you work 40 hours, work for overtime? Three jobs trying to sacrifice for them. And then when you get ready to present them the gift, saying, I don't want it. Hmm. No? Who does that? Who does that? Who does not? Because God said, I don't look at things the way you do. Before you present me the box, I'm not looking at this outside. It's pretty, but there's something wrong with the inside. The contents is messed up. Until we fix what was on the inside, then you can present me the gift. It says in verse 22, it says, but I say unto you that whosoever is Angry with his brother without a cause. Without. Yeah. They don't even say there's a cause. They say without a cause. Yeah. Shall be danger of judgment. A gift is something given voluntary without payment in return. That's what a gift is. Okay. Something given voluntarily without payment in return. So why, if, if, if I ain't paying for this, why would I accept it? Come on, come on. Right. Right. Yeah. It's strange for me to understand that, that, that I want to give you stuff and you won't take it from me. Because the thing is, it's harder for me to give you something if you don't know me. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's harder for me to receive something from you if I don't know you. If a stranger just walked up to you and said, hey, I'm going to give you something, you're going to be reluctant to take it. Because we're not in a relationship. And this is what God said, I can't accept the gift because got to be something wrong with our relationship. Because we got to look the same. So when I look inside and see what y'all got to understand about God, He's too much bigger than us, man. Yeah. We can We got to get. We got to grab it. Yeah. And then examine it, then try to open it up and try to find what's on the inside. Oh, yeah. And God yeah. simply saying, "I got a free vision. Come on now. I can see on the 
outside black devil to see what's wrong. And I see his son unforgiveness. And uh, there's someone in this room today got a relationship they need to fix with somebody. He said, you're wasting your time trying to offer me something. I can't take it because there's something wrong on the inside of me. Something wrong on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Turn to 1 John chapter 4. Verse number 19 through 21 in the Amplified Version. I'm going to tell you something truly about me. I ain't wasting my money. I ain't wasting my resources. I ain't wasting my energy trying to give somebody something that they don't want. If God already set the standards about how you receive gifts, then you got to understand I'm not going to keep going back and forth and I'm trying to still trying to give you this gift. But he still says, still something wrong there now. Yeah. Go get it right. Yeah, right. What it says in 1 John chapter 4, uh, verse number 19. It says, We love because he first loved us. All right, he said, We love because he first loved us. He first loved us, meaning he, yeah, he was in love with us from day one. From day one. And what else it says? If anyone says, I love God and hates, works against his Christian brother, he is a liar. I just want you to hear that. Don't be around here trying to spoil you talking about I love God and I'm on God's side and he my everything. And then we got all of these people. And you say, you got, you can't be telling the truth. Come on, come on. He said, I, he said if anyone says I love God and hates or works against, his Christian brother, he is a liar. I want you to hear that. I want you to really examine yourself. Like I said, we come here every week. Like I said, I ain't got time to measure you. I got to continue to keep the mirror on myself. He said, for the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God. Whom he has not seen. Do you hear that? How can you be in love with God yeah. that you have not even seen before? But can't stand your brother, you see everything. I want you to take an examination of yourself this week. I'm serious. If you if you got people around you or people that you and you still avoid people. Every time you see them, you yeah. in the grocery store and walk away, pick up some bread and eat it. Oh, I gotta get away from that. What's in that heart? That co worker, well, I'm telling you, I just, oh, oh, I can't stop them. Someone will choose. Very well, they might be getting on your nerves. But you need to look at yourself. God said, I'm just showing you. That's still some dirt in that corner. Uh -huh. And you clean from under that bed. Yes, There's still stuff inside of you that need to be fixed. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. I said, I'm going to tell you something. I really want every time I bring something to God, I want him to accept. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But he said, examine yourself, though. Yeah. Because, see, the thing is, you can, you can, you can bring it to him all you want to. But if, if things are wrong in there, and, and, you, and you don't have a desire to change, right. all they're going to do is just sit there. Yeah, yeah. God said, I can't take it. Yeah. Because I'm constantly looking at it. I want to put my hands on it, but it's still some things on the inside that need to be fixed. There's still so much unforgiveness in there. It's still some bitterness in them. It's still some jealousy in them. It's causing us not to be unified. Because it's all about unity. Do y'all really understand what God is really requiring of us? 
We are practicing each and every day, rehearsing each and every day how we going to live with God We're not going to be in a place where we at each other throat every day. We're not going to be jealous of one another in that place. We're not going to be mishandling one another. We're not going to step over or, set or do things that will, that will harm one another. Yeah. That's where we're going. Yeah, yeah. we got to rehearse this yeah. every day yeah, yeah. in our lives. Yeah. He said, how are you going to be able to hang with me? Uh -huh. And then this brother right here or this sister right here, you can't stand. Uh -huh. We don't really have no fellowship. Yeah. So I handle you when you bring your gift like a stranger. Uh -huh. I don't know you.
And if these, these truly represent the word of love. Yeah. Come on. And that ain't sometimes, that's not when you feel like it. But that's your all day, every day. He says, through love and kindness have I trusted. That's right. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 Absolutely. And that's what I'm telling you. So, so even when we disagree, can we reconcile? Because when we walk away and we don't reconcile, we're not unified. Yes. That's right. Amen. And if we're not unified, then we can't be hanging out with God because he said that's why he said that's why unity is with me. Yeah. He said, well, it's unity that is strength. How can two walk together except they agree? Yeah, so if you go if you're gonna walk with me and go offer me something, then I I need to make sure that we are on the same page. Yeah. If there's somebody in your life that you done got it all against, or they got it all against you yeah. before you bring me this. Yeah. Because this is covenant when yeah. you bring it to me. Yeah. And I can accept it when we are actually doing what the words say do, when yeah. we say love, say reconcile, be joined together. Mm. He said, I'll take the gift. Yes, but like I said, who? Who oh, I can sacrifice? Mm -hmm. To try to, to give even to their children and stuff, knowing that they ain't gonna want it. Uh -huh. They're not even gonna want it. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Did we finish reading all of that? Uh -huh. No. Start at verse 20. If anyone says, I love God and hates works against his Christian brother, he is a liar. Come on. For the one who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God whom he has not seen. Come on. And this commandment we have from him, that the one who love, loves God should also unselfishly love his brother and seek the best for him. Wow. And this, like I said, we're again, we're talking about unity here. He said, he said the, that the one who loves God should, all, should always, excuse me, should also unselfishly Love his brother yeah. and seek. Can I disagree with you and still want the best for you? Can I disagree with you and still want the best for you? Yes. But why would why do we why would we act so differently? Yes. Because we don't agree. Now all of a sudden we was in unity. Now we're enemies. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to reconcile with you. I don't want to talk to you because you didn't agree with me. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So God, I want to offer you this gift, and I and I and I need you, Father God, to help me in all these things. And God said, Yeah, I'm glad you before me. Thank you for bringing the gift. But do what I tell you to do. And I'm telling you, he's eating at us sometimes. Yeah, he does. He's eating at us because we got to bring the egos down. Yeah, absolutely. We got to, we got to, we got to, sometimes we get very egotistical. I'm serious. I, yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. I, I'd rather hold this in place and walk around with this grudge for five years. How such and such doing it? Talk to them in a while. I wonder what happened then. Y'all used to be tight. Mm -hmm. Just because of a disagree. Yeah. yeah. Go to uh let's get um now to come back to the mother. Go to Genesis chapter four. Let me go to the story and then I come back to the mother's scripture. Genesis chapter 4. We start in verse number 1. In the Amplified verse. Genesis 4 and 1. Now the man Adam knew Eve as his wife. Come on. And she conceived and gave birth to Cain. And she said, I have obtained a man, baby boy, son, with the help of the Lord. All right. And later she gave birth to his brother Abel. 
Now Abel kept the flocks of sheep and goats, but Cain cultivated the ground. And in the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground. But Abel brought an offering of the finest firstborn of his flock and the fat portions. And the Lord had respect or regard for Abel and for his offering. But for Cain and his offering, he had no respect. Stop right there. Verse number four. But Abel brought an offering of the finest firstborn of his flock and the fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. That it mean he accepted what he brought. Because he had honesty in his heart. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to tell you? A lot of time, like I said, the show that we put on a lot of time is for each other. Oh, yeah. Come on. You ain't gonna never come to God. And offer God, and now He don't know your heart for real. Yeah, right. He don't know your motives. He don't know why you doing what you doing. He already know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're fooling yourself and think that God gonna accept anything because He's not. So He accepted Abel's offering. Then the Lord had respect for Abel and his offering, but Cain and his offering, He had no respect. That was a motive behind it. Yeah. It was something that He saw. That he could not, God could not stomach and say, no, I got to reject this hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it's a sad thing to offer God something that he don't want. Come on, come on. Yeah. It's a sad thing to offer God something that he don't want. Yeah. But Cain's response really showed yes. what was in his heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Come on. And see, that's what I'm saying is, they could have even, both of the gifts could have looked the same. Yeah. But by him examining further on the inside, there was something wrong with one of yeah. Cain's offering. So he turned around, and what he tells Cain, in, in, uh, I guess, third of number five or six. Number six. And the Lord said to Cain, why are you so angry? He said, why are you so angry, Cain? Because I don't want what you've given me. Why do you look annoyed? All right, stop right there. Back them up. Why you look so annoyed? Why you so mad? Because I won't accept yeah. what you're trying to give me. Yeah. Even though the gift is free. Uh -huh. The gift is free. The gift is free. You don't have to, it ain't, it ain't nothing you got to do. Just accept it. Yeah. God says, under terms and conditions of. He says something you and the way you've got to present yourself, he said, with your whole heart. He said, only the pure heart shall see me. He said, I'm talking about with a sincere heart to do it the right way. Abel did it, but what about you? Why are you so angry? Because I want to accept your gift. And why do you look so annoyed? Yeah. So well, evidently, he wasn't just mad on the inside. Oh, yeah. It started manifesting oh, on the outside. Oh, yeah. So he started looking annoyed, meaning whatever that was going on the inside, yeah. it started manifesting yeah. on the outside. You can't hide from home. If you messed up, you just messed up. Oh, yeah. So instead of him going back and, and recovering and, and trying to fix what he messed up, he just went on. And what else, what else happened? Verse 7. If you do well believing me and doing what is acceptable and pleasing to me. You hear that right there? He said, if you do well believing me and doing what is acceptable and pleasing to, to me. me. Come on. So he then already laid it out. Yeah. If, the word if, I mean, you got a choice yeah. if you want to do it or not. And what else happened? Will you not be accepted? Will you not be accepted? Come on. If and you, if you do. I'm going to stop right there. If you do what I tell you, will you not be accepted? Will I take the gift? He's telling you to forgive. He's telling you to get it right with your brother because it's bigger than you. Yeah, yeah. It's bigger 
than the way you feel. Yeah. It's bigger than you. He said, I want to see you in unity yeah. at all times with each other. Yeah. Esteeming yourself high, your brother higher than yourself. And the crazy thing about this particular story, they're all real brothers. They're real brothers. This ain't, this ain't some joke law off the side of the street. Somebody I know crossed the way. These real brothers. And he was so angry and annoyed with God because God would not accept his gift. What happened? And if you do not do well but ignore my instruction, Sin crouches at your door. Sin crouches at your door. Mm -hmm. See, when you ain't doing it God's way, sin is hanging out yep. at your door. Yep. You heard him? He said, it's hanging out at your door if you don't want to do it my way. Mm -hmm. So when sin is hanging out at your door, what happens? Its desire is for you to overpower you. Come on. But you must master it. You must master it. Yes. Its desire is to overpower That's you. It. Sin That's desire it. to overpower Come you. On. Can you hear that? Sin desires to overpower you. But you must master, but you must master it's it. It's up to you. It's up to you, though. It's up to you. To either give in That's right. or fight for That's your it. position. That's it. That's it. Can read verse Cain talked with Abel, his brother, about what God had said. He said he talked with his brother about what God said to him. Well, I'm saying for me, if, like I said, I would have gone out and tried to recover and get it right with yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. I would try to, God, what, what you need me to do? What I messed up? Yeah, Show me why yeah, I messed up so yeah. I can get this thing right with yeah. you. But that's what we do a lot of time when things start going wrong. Instead of us going back to God like we should and getting it right, we start talking to people. Yeah. Yeah. Start getting all these different points of view, all these different perspectives. Now we got 50 people perspectives in our head and don't know which one to take. And what happened? And when they were alone working in the field, Cain attacked Abel, his brother, and killed him. Do you hear that? Cain attacked Abel, his brother, and killed him. It was that bad. Oh, yeah. That bad. Because when sin lied at the door, yes. anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Even to the point of killing him, my brother. Yes. And he killed his brother. And it was a manifestation because sin was lying at the door because God wouldn't accept yeah. his gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God said love one another. This is the only quali the qualification that he's standing on yeah. when you want to present him something. Yeah. He want to see the love yeah. in your heart yeah. for one another. Yeah, Turn to John 13, book of John 13, 33 through 35. John 13 and 33 says, little children, I am with you only a little longer. Okay, come on. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you are not able to come. Come on. I am giving you a new commandment. He said, I'm giving you a new commandment. Yeah. I'm telling you today, if you ain't heard the commandment, hear the commandment of today. It's a new one. Yeah. It's a new one. Uh -huh. It's a new one. I'm trying to make you hear this. Uh -huh. It's a new commandment. It's out. Yeah. What is it? That you love one another. Ooh, that's, ooh. Man, I don't know. Uh -huh. I ain't talking about conditional love. That's right. He ain't talking about love that has conditions of limits. That's right. He ain't talking about it. it I, I can love you until you make me mad. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Love you until you wrong me, and then I ain't got to love you no more. That ain't the kind of love God is talking about. That's right. mm -hmm. 
It's, it has no conditions. It has no limits. He said, I am giving you a new commandment that you love one another just as I love you. Yeah. God never wrote in this word where he said he's going to stop loving you. Oh, my. If y'all seen that in the Bible, show it to me, please. That he never stopped loving us even when we had done wrong. Yeah. He loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son. Yes. Yes. That he didn't even want to allow sin to, 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 to separate us. Oh what else it says? So you too are to love one another. Okay. But by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you have love and unselfish concern for one another. Do you hear that? And I just want you to hear that. You cannot be identified by the way you love. That's the truth. You can be identified by the way you love. If you love Jesus, he said, they'll know if you're my disciples by the way you love one another. Not from not run from one another. Not shun one another. Yeah. Not mistreat one another. Yeah. But how we love each other. Yes, yes. How we forgive one another. How we reconcile with one another. Yes. That's what he's calling for this morning. Uh, yeah. He said that's why a lot of our gifts are not accepted. Come on. Because our love is conditional. Yeah. That's right. It's about term and condition for us. Yeah. Most of the time, anytime you get a product, anything, or you read something, you got a disclaimer on it. Yeah. Yeah. Check the box, huh? Yeah. Before you sign for it. Yeah, check the box. Mm -hmm. But God just simply saying is, if you if you want me to accept what you're offering me, you. love one another. Yes, because if you can't love your brother that you see every day, all day, and you don't you can't you can't say you love me. That you ain't never seen before. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Last scripture. First John chapter four, verse seven and eight. First John chapter four says, Beloved, let us unselfishly love and seek the best for one another. Do you hear that? For love is from God. And everyone who loves others is born of God and knows God through personal experience. It's easy to accept the gift yes. when we're in fellowship yes. with him. Like yes. I said, it's hard to accept something from somebody I don't know. Yeah. But he's, but he's emphasizing love this morning yes. for one another. Yes, Lord. If you got an all against somebody, or you ain't, uh, or y'all, you at, you at, you're in a place where y'all in disagreement, where y'all not even talking, you need to fix it. You need to fix it. What can separate me from the love of God? I'm not gonna let nothing separate me from the love of God. I'm definitely not going to let him try to allow anything to separate me from my, from God accepting what I want to give him. That's right. That's right. Because I want to be rebellious. Yeah. Because I still want to do it my way. And that's what's hurting a lot of us. Yeah. This morning, I'll tell you the truth. Examine yourself. See that you be in the faith. God is love. Yes. And he said, if you want to hang out with me, if you want me to accept what you have, okay. he said, love one another. Go get it right, then come back and offer the gift. Yes. Thank you. Father God, I thank you this morning. Thank you, I give you all the praise. Yes. I give you all the glory. Yes. I give you all the honor. Father God, you're excellent in every way. Yes. Created us, O oh God, a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit. Is there anyone in here today, Father? Anybody in here today?
that have been trying to offer God something and he told you to go get it right. He said, fix it today. If you walk with God, your relationship is not on point. God is giving you another call today to come. Get it right with him today. Is there anybody that need prayer for anything today? Come on up now.